Welcome to Lunkerville, Mike D here. I'm in Aurelia, Ontario at the Aurelia Perch Festival. It's 22 days of peace and perch fishing and we're fishing with Stephen Bates. How you doing, man? Great, man. How are you? Welcome to the program. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the festival. The festival is going on for years and I think the main reason for the festival of where it's located in, uh, between Lake Simcoe and uh, Lake Kuchiching in southern Ontario is Lake Simcoe is probably one of the best perch fisheries in North America. Um, this, this is the spring time of the year, dying to get out to fish. Everybody's out here, kids can catch them, adults, everybody. And it's good fishery for everyone and they're great to eat, so a lot of fun. We love to perch fish on Lunkerville. Uh, there was ice out here just a couple weeks ago, so let's go fishing. <laughs> It seems in every town in America that there's a secret fishing spot where the water runs clear and the bass are always biting. And at that spot, there's an unsung hero who knows every stump, lay down and lily pad. Seems all he's got to do is wet a line. <laughs> and sure enough, he's reeling in a big bass. So if you're looking for real people with real fish stories, then hop a ride. We're going to Lunkerville. In addition to being an avid fisherman, Stephen is also an awesome ambassador for the sport who's passionate about keeping kids involved with the outdoors. Which brings us to the third member of our expedition, Caleb Pearson. Caleb was introduced to fishing by his older brother, who sadly passed away. Devastated, Caleb felt he would never go fishing again. In fact, he said he would never go near the water. Stephen learned about this through a mutual friend and was determined to help Caleb through this rough time and help him rediscover his love for fishing. Well, he's done that and then some. Over the past six years, Stephen and Caleb have gotten together regularly to go ice fishing, bass fishing, perch fishing. They've won tournaments together. They're true fishing buddies. So how are you rigging that up, Stephen? Well, what I'm gonna do, I have a tiny little hook here and uh, below the hook, I'm gonna put another little leader and I'm gonna attach an artificial jig. We'll put a live bait on here and an artificial one here. The live minnow will attract them in if they can come in, then hopefully we can get one on the, or the artificial or on the, real, on the live minnow. When you hit a certain age, you need to have a little bit of help, so. <laughs> it's very Lunkerville. It is the best thing ever. Do they even make it or is it from like the fish? Oh, no, just make it so you can have good eyes like this or you can just put it on and tie up. It's awesome. Well, they're, they're fantastic. I got a little, yeah, it's just a little. I think in this clear water, yeah. you know, finesse is the best. Yeah. Sm smaller is better. I like it. Stephen grew up on Lake Simcoe, and he knows all the secret spots to find perch. Unfortunately, today, his secret spot is not so secret. Fortunately for us, and it's one of the things I love about the Aurelia Perch Festival, is that it's not geared towards the size of the fish but just fishing and fun and good times with family and friends. A very Lunkerville idea. The rule is you need just three fish of any size to participate in the tournament and be in the running for the prizes. And that's what our plan is, to head to the docks, scout out some perch beds, and find three fish as official entrance. Then we'll head to Steven's extra super secrety secrety spot that no one knows about and we'll investigate. And you know what? The plan worked. There were fish here and we got our three entrants. But I'll just let you know, folks, these were small perch. Children, in fact. They had no business to be on the beds. But we got them and we're checking them in. Yeah. I see them right there. This one went on the, the fake bait. I'm proud. Still too small, but it's getting on the right size. Okay. You yeah, put... There you go. Aurelia. Perch Festival official entrant. Official entrant. Wow. Woohoo! Lunkerville is presented by South Bend, a fishing tradition since 1906. Also sponsored by BassResource.com, the ultimate bass fishing resource guide. Mudville Catmaster, 
the only complete catfish tackle solution. That was fun, we could have caught those all day, right? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the, the big fish, what happened was we had, it was so cold for so long, and then the water, we got really hot weather for four or five days. Water temperature just jumped, the fish come into the schools, all the big fish came in, they spawned virtually in a day, two days, That's and it. they're gone. So now what we have to do is, all of those big fish that have spawned have moved out to deeper water. So we're gonna go out into the lake now, instead of into the tight marinas, and hopefully get into some bigger fish. You know, some 12 to 13 inches. That's big, and you have some spots? I got some spots. Nice. I grew up on this lake, so I got some spots. We're okay. All right, <laughs> love that. Caleb, you psyched or what? Yeah. Yeah, man. Where do you got your big one? Yeah. A lunker? Yeah. Right on. We got fish. We're entering. They gotta be alive. They're wiggling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there they go. Just like that, we became official entrants in the 2015 Aurelia Perch Festival. Thank you. And we're off to Stephen's extra special monster perch spot. We're in Stephen's hometown in our second spot, going for some lunker perch. Let's see if we can get Caleb on one and me on one and Stephen on one. Watch for the darker spots because that's emergent weed. And the, what will happen is the perch will congregate on, on top of the emergent weed and just sit there. When you cast to it, try to let your bait sit there close to it or around that emergent weed. And what happens is keep your line tight. Your line will jump, set hook, and bring it in. But that's what you're looking for. Okay. But less so, is more. Like any, it's uh -huh. not a, they're not, not, not going to chase it. just like a bass. Just let it sit, lift it a little tiny bit, and that you know and that's lift that's it when to move hit. it. Yeah, exactly. Lift to move. So it's lift, drop, lift, drop, hesitate. Got it. Yeah, nice one, man. Little guy. Okay. There's a good fish. So cute. Yeah. Okay. Now we're getting some fish. Oh yeah. Looks a little bit better anyway. You see, we got two fish right away, two casts, and we already got a keeper. So there's a lot bigger fish here. So we should do well. Oh, we're gonna do well. Yeah. Oh, you got one. Okay, the excitement starts. That's a good, this is a good fish. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we got some food coming. That's a male. Oh, that's You're a keyed nice in. You're this keyed is a in nice there. fish because this is a male. See, there's no belly on it, so it's a male. It's getting exciting. Couldn't even get my line in the water. He's got three fish. Yeah, they'll see that. Okay, so let her fall. Yeah, that's it. They pick it up. There we go. It's a little one this time. So that's just a little guy. But that's another fish. That's right. I'm feeling weed down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice one, man. Now you're in the zone. Yeah. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me. <laughs> Don't say everything. <laughs> Really, watch, watch your cast. Okay. How long should, I'm watching you, and you're not letting it sit that long. I'm sitting count to ten. ten. You're actually counting. Well, in my head, let you know. Let me see I, that. Let me see that, that right. cast and retrieve. Okay. Okay, you sit, let it. I'm gonna sit. let it. I'm gonna let it hit the bottom. Okay. It hasn't hit the bottom yet. But right before it hits the bottom, I like to give it a little thing because if they're following it down this and then it jumps, sometimes it's, if you move it just sort of sharp, quick, they'll grab it. But 99% of the time, you got to let it sit, and then I just pop it a little bit. Interesting that, that you said it. that. Well, because they're watching it come down, and yeah. then when, just as it goes to sit, if you give it a jerk, they go, oh, they'll do the reaction bite, uh -huh. right? Just to spark that okay, bite. Okay, so what you, okay, you're gonna let so it sit. So it's gonna let it go down now, okay? And I'll just give it a little tap. Then I'll Real move it slack. along. Let it go. Yeah, let it go down to the bottom again. Give them a few seconds to sit there, look at it if they're there. Then I'll just lift it up. So when he strikes, are you feeling it when it's I just sitting I feel it as soon there? as it hits. I, I watch the line and I'll feel it hit, yeah. There's one. I got one too. That was on the drop. On That's the drop. a big fish. Oh, Caleb, yeah. That's a good yeah. one. It's a, good one. It's a real really? good one. That's a big one. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. That's a good <laughs> one. 
You taught me well, there you Steven. Go. See, you drop it on the tip. See? I love that tip. Lunkerville. Lunkerville. As I mentioned in the beginning of the show, the Aurelia Perch Festival is 22 days of peace and perch fishing. There's all sorts of fun stuff going on for three whole weeks. And my favorite event is the OPP Kids Day, sponsored by the Ontario Provincial Police. It's a fantastic event that centers around getting kids involved in fishing and the outdoors. There's casting seminars, contests, amazing giveaways from Walmart, South Bend, Monster Stalker clothing, and others. And I was there to help out too. I taught kids how to tell great fish stories. We had a question and answer contest where kids won hats and ready to fish combos. It was a great time. And it's what we stand for here at South Bend's Lunkerville. Having fun and getting kids and their parents involved in fishing. We gave away a ton of fishing combos and hats. I mean, a lot. And I can't tell you how important it is to get kids involved in the outdoors. I love it. Who doesn't have a fishing rod? There you go. Uh oh, they keep coming. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't move a muzzle. We'll be right back after these messages. Here's a good one. Here's, Here's a, good a good one. one. No, just a good no. fighter. Oh he's yeah, not that look at big. that rod bed. And he's not that big though. Oh, he might keep. Mine. Borderline. Borderline. Nice one, man. Remember this morning how finicky they were? Yeah. These fish are aggressive. Because they already spawned. Yeah, and the, the, yeah, so they're out here. That's exactly what we did. We got away from those from the fish that were spawning, out to the fish that are post spawn now, and they're gonna bulk up because they're getting hungry. Yeah. So they're I'm like, yeah, we did it, man. We did it. Yeah. Let's party. Caleb's on. Sweet. Look at that rod bend. Yeah, that's a keeper. That is that's a, a keeper. keeper, buddy. Good fish. Nice big yellow. That's a oh, keeper. Yeah. Get it up. Sweet. Get it in the boat. That's a boy. End of the Glorious line. Glorious well. yeah. They oh, are big here. I told you. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and no live bait. No live bait. It's more. It's more fun not using the live bait. I agree. You have to hook it all the time. Steven, what got you into fishing? I was one of those kids when everybody else was playing hide and go seek, I'd rather fish. You know, they were running around. My mom, my poor mom, she'd have to come down and she'd bring me a sandwich down to the creek and it would have been a pop and then have to drag my butt home for dinner and then I'd be back down after dinner till dark. So, you know, if, if, if you've got the bug and I'm, you'll know what I'm talking about, it's, it's an incredible thing. It's a great, great sport. Caleb, I know you and Steven are fishing pals. How did that all come together? Um, when my brother died, he always took me fishing and I really liked to fish. And then after he died, I never wanted to go fishing. I didn't even want to go near the lake. And my mom told that to my cousin Kim. And then she said that to Steven. And then Steven, like, sent me a whole bunch of stuff for fishing and all that. And then I started to like fishing again. And we started going on, like, ice fishing and then tournaments. and. All that. That's awesome, man. And now, now is it one of your favorite things to do? Yeah. Steven, how do you like fishing with Caleb? He's a, he's a royal pain, actually. Uh, nothing but trouble. As you can see, he never stops talking. And he just wants, wants, wants. <laughs> just kidding. He's, he's, he's the greatest kid I've ever met. Um, it's a pleasure to take somebody out who has the same passion that I have at such a young age. Um, I've been fishing with him see, since he was six years old. And it's awesome. Every day I'm in the water with him, it's awesome. We love it. Hey everybody, Mike D here. We're in the Lunkerville Lounge at ICAST 2015. And uh, this is where we hold a contest and give away a trip to Lunkerville. We ask folks here for their favorite, fondest, their funkiest fishing memory, fish story. And uh, the best story, that person wins their own episode of the show. But the man I got here, he doesn't need his own episode of Lunkerville. It's Roland Martin, the third hey, legend. Mike. How you, you doing, doing, man? Son? I'm doing good. I now, 
I called you the third legend. That's only because you're the third one that well, we've interviewed. It's funny. Are you first, second, or third? In, 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 the, in the deal, if you look at our business cards on the three legends, it's Bill Dance and, and Jimmy Houston and I. If you look at our business card, it'll say Bill Dance, number one legend. Jimmy Houston, number one legend. And Roland Martin, number one legend. So oh, yeah. hey. we all call ourselves the number one legend. You, you, so that's okay. the way we do it. <laughs> what I'd love to hear is a fishing tale or a fishing story. God, that's so we got to bring one from Bill, from Jimmy. What do you got? Some childhood memory uh, or something wacky that happened to you? <laughs> it's it's not it's kind of a funny story. It, it, it involved a, a, one of the, the most memorable fishing trips I ever had in my life when President George W. Bush asked me to come to Crawford to do a, a film with him, and we did. We did this beautiful film. And the funny part about it was, as we fished in the lake, Robert, the, the ranch manager of the president, had put these FADs out. These are fish attracting devices. But what what, what is it? It, it's just a big tree-looking thing that's in the water. Oh, so it's a structure. It's a structure it's underneath, yeah, the underneath the water, and so okay, that's what we call our fish in a film. That's great. So, <laughs> so the press secretary that year uh, invited Judy and I to uh, to Christmas uh, yeah. dinner for the Christmas uh, for, the, for the president. So, <laughs> I walked in line. I'm really this is like the most important thing I've ever done in my life. So I walked up to the president. I said, "Ah, Mr. President," he said, "Hi, Roland." I said, I just heard that Robert said you caught your biggest bass. He said, yeah, I caught an 814. Now, here's here's where it gets really tricky and funny. The president's saying to me, I caught an 814 off the FAD in the southeast sector. And I heard this guy behind me, he says, they're talking secret missile talk. This is the <laughs> highest level secret stuff I've ever heard in my life. I mean, this is FAD se sectors and stuff. And it's like, yeah. and he kept talking, and it was so funny because... I said, well, what was it on? He said, a five-inch Senko. So at the, at the end of the thing, I leave the, I leave the line, and I go just a few feet, and I said, oh, Mr. President, Mr. President. He said, he turned up, and he's shaking somebody else's hand. I said, Mr. President, he said, what's that, Roland? I said, I forgot to tell you, but that film we did was a complete success. He said, well, how's that, Roland? Why is that? I said, well, sir, it got you reelected. Yeah, <laughs> right here, man. Additional support for Lunkerville provided by Fishing Paradise 3D. Play now for free on your iPhone, Android, and on Facebook. Hurricane Salt Tackle, a force to be reckoned with. Celsius, ice fishing gear for hard water anglers. Stephen, what makes perch fishing so much fun for you? I think the best answer to that is that perch fishing is the first fish of the spring. And when you have hard water from virtually, you can't fish from November, until April, by the time April comes, anybody who loves to fish is Jones to get out there and catch them and purchase the, you know, it's the first fish that, that becomes readily available on soft water. Um, and the fact that I love to eat them. They're such a great, I'm not a big red meat of fish like salmonoid family, but I love white flush, so perch. Oh. Um, this is a big one, <laughs> sorry. <Yeah. laughs> um, yeah. Perch, walleye, uh, crappie, and it's just so much fun to catch them. I can see that. Yeah. Witnessing it, is, well, yeah. Yeah. experiencing Caleb it is a different story. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Caleb, what makes perch fishing so much fun to you? Because they make good sandwiches. You like perch sandwiches. What do you put on that? I don't know. My dad used to make them for me, and he'd fry them up and then put them in a sandwich and put a sauce on them, like barbecue sauce or something. Nice. But they're fun to catch, too. They're feisty. Yeah. Caleb's on. Yep. Sounded good. You were nailing them over there. Killing it. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a keeper. Oh, Caleb, you're crushing me. Right I'm now, sorry. you definitely have the touch. You can see that. One thing about that Caleb, he's a cool cat. And he wears the bling. He told me he actually pierced his own ears. Now that's hard. I mean, it, it's hard to do. But it's also hard as in tough. Yeah. It's not cool for guys my age, I don't think, to wear them, though. Yo! Toughen up, man. 
Yeah, that looks good. It feels tough. Looks tough. Nice. Well, what's up with the Oprah hat, man? It's not Oprah, it's Ofra. Ofa? Yeah. Ofa, what's Ofa stand for? Ofa is Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Cool, man. Yeah. Steven, you're involved with Ofa, right? Yes. And what are I they do. all about? Well, the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters has been around for over 80 years, and it's a federation. We're a nonprofit organization that uh, main goal is to preserve conservation in Ontario for animals and for fisheries. And we're now in the midst in our eighth year of bringing back Atlantic salmon to Lake Ontario. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, it sounds like you're doing a great thing. Does that yeah. have anything to do with Ontario Outdoors? Well, Ontario Outdoors is a magazine that the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters owns. Uh, again, it has been around for 47 years. Uh, the longest standing magazine on Ontario for fishermen and hunters. Um, yeah, and we also have a fish on. A fish on. I'd like to talk, but I'm busy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's, that might be measure worthy. No, it's, it's not that big, but it's a good fish. It's uh, dinner. Well, no, we're measuring heavy. that. Hold Holy on. moly, that's heavy. That's a big one. That's a heavy fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 13, almost 13 inches. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> They're getting bigger, Caleb. Come on. What's oh, another duker? Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy, get it done. Yeah. Hurry up. Swing, Swing them them in. Oh, hurry up. Get it in there. Good man. Nice one, man. Perchzilla. Yeah. I think that was the biggest perch I ever caught. Yeah. yeah. The lunker. Personal best. Okay. I got one. Tiny. I might have the smallest one <laughs> on the boat, which is cool. In Lunkerville, you get a prize. Well, there you go. Another day where our guest figures it out. Steven brought us to his special spot, and the fish and the fun times were there. And how cool is he for being Caleb's fishing buddy and reintroducing him to the outdoors? This is what the show is all about. Real people and real fish stories. Thanks, Caleb, Stephen, and all those at the Aurelia Perch Festival. We'll see you next time in Lunkerville.